Kelsey. Hey, Empress. Hey, Empresses. How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Scorpio, we did it. We hit 10K. Me, you, and Father God, we did it. We on the up and up. We on the up and up. Father God is oh, levitating, elevating us. Oh, we got it going on. <laughs> oh. Congratulations to us. Congratulations. God is elevating, leveling up, pushing us. It's happening. It's happening. I just want to say I thank you. I just want to say I love y'all so much. I, I love y'all. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for everything. Thank you. First things first, y'all. I only have one YouTube page, one Instagram page. It's at Mecca Dreams. Don't get scammed. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box, okay? And I don't even know if it was a Scorpio that pointed it out. And it's not Scorpio season yet because I know we in Libra season, which is cool. I have Libra in my chart, but I am a Scorpio. I love how, you know, it happened on the 10th month, 10, 10. It's big. It's big blessings happening. Okay. Everybody that knows me knows that 10, 10, I'll be singing that's God's binoculars out. And it reminds me of Father God having the binoculars and being able to like really zoom in on what's happening. Okay. Like what's going on with people. So it's one of my favorite angel numbers. <laughs> but thank y'all so much. Okay. Thank y'all so much. I just wanted to say that and start that off. I love y'all. I love y'all so much. <laughs> Let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and protect the viewers I have clicked on this video today. What are the messages today for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node? What are the messages today for Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know about what's going on and about what's coming in? Scorpio, can we talk about Pisces? Someone can have Pisces in their birth chart. Okay, ooh. So there's repentance that's happening. Somebody's repenting for their sins. Somebody here could be definitely praying. They could be definitely trying to go on their spiritual path. Yeah. So I'm sitting here. Somebody here is, you know, in the energy of acceptance. This could have been a third party situation. It could have been like three women. <clears throat> I don't want to say like three men, but for some of y'all, maybe three men. But three three people and one person, okay? And it seems like one person has made, you know, a decision to be with one person, but they have left two people out, okay? They left two people on the sideline. So somebody here could be repenting for the sins, okay? They could have... It definitely could have been like a polygamous type of thing. And I don't even know if everybody knew what was going on in this situation here. But there's definitely like a relationship taking place right now. Somebody is with somebody. They're in a connection, but they were with three people at one point. They even could have bounced between three different people, juggled three different people, three different connections. Okay, take it how it resonates. Somebody here is trying to repent. Okay, there's an acceptance that's needed here. <clears throat> Yeah, somebody's accepting things for what for what it is at this time. Yeah. Scorpio, you're being led to not spend too much time, you know, contemplating certain things. Your money is growing, okay? Fortune favors action. It's time for you to take action. Father God is saying, do this, do that, go here, go there, do it. Because it's money opportunities on the way, okay? You're about to get blessed. Your money is about to, if it's at a, a 10, if you think it's at a peak now, get ready. Okay, get ready to count them racks because it is coming in, Scorpio. Okay, your money is, is blessed, long, strong. Okay, <laughs> wow, you're about to come into wealth. If you aren't wealthy already, if you aren't, you know, already receiving financial blessings, it's more coming. And it can be because of a situation here that Father God said, uh -uh. yeah, it's also a spiritual partnership that's coming in for you. So you have to learn some type of blessing. Yep. This could have even been you like repenting for being in a situation like this. For some of y'all, like forgiving yourself. There's a spiritual partnership that's on the way. This is divinely guided towards you. It's meant for you. It's meant to come in. 
Okay, it could be definitely with the air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, heavy Gemini. Popped out, y'all. Okay, it could be with a Gemini. Oh, he's going to be very peaceful, very loving, very harmonious. You could have Sagittarius in your chart. This could also be with a Sagittarius or a Cancer. And this is going to help you overcome. But this is coming in because you were able to overcome some type of strife, obstacle. The chariot is being able to overcome things that people feel like you cannot overcome. Or if even you feel like you can't overcome. But you're getting ready to meet someone and it's going to be very blessed. Very healing. Temperance is going to be like equal give and take. It's going to feel like y'all are pouring from one cup with temperance. Gives me like, um, wow, you're, you're a brainiac, y'all. For some of y'all, y'all could be, like, very intelligent. I'm seeing, like, mathematics, geometry, astronomy in the back. You guys could be, like, into the stars. Wow, very intelligent. There's something about the moon energy as well. You could be mothers, okay, or you could be giving off a mother, a mothering energy, a nurturing energy, a loving, kind energy. Or you're fertile, you're getting ready to be pregnant, you could be pregnant. It's like I'm hearing you're birthing out different, ooh, you're, you're just birthing out different opportunities, different things. Your halo is coming in. Something about your halo, yeah, you definitely had to go through certain lessons and it's like you're, you've healed. This could also be someone that you were, that um could be coming towards you that needed to heal or reflect or repent over certain things. Yeah, there's definitely like negative energy. That doesn't want this to come about. I see these fruit flies. Wow. <clears throat> so there's someone that's monitoring you. You have monitoring spirits. Because they came out of nowhere. <laughs> and it's cool. It's October. So I'm like, what is, yeah. So there could be people that are uh, monitoring you. And they literally could come out of nowhere. Like, literally. It could be like little vermin, little annoying nuisances that just want to get gather information about what you have going on at this time. Yeah, there's people that are getting ready to explode. <clears throat> there's people that are angry with you. Yeah. Mm. You have desire. You could be getting ready to sleep with someone or someone here has a deep desire to sleep with you again, okay? They could be lusting over you. It could be a lot of sexual chemistry. Be mindful of lust. Lust ain't love, okay? Yeah, somebody here is realizing this. And you could have came to the realization that someone just wanted you for lust. Something could have came to the light. You guys may drink, like, water out of, like, wine glasses. Very fancy. <laughs> or you guys may like wine glasses. Yeah, I'm seeing here. Somebody's avoiding something. <clears throat> yeah, they're running from something they're avoiding. This is someone that's dangerous. They're poisonous. They're very unhealthy. They like toxic and healthy people or behaviors okay so you guys could have definitely been dealing with someone that was focused on lust oh yeah some of y'all this would be mm. you have your twin some of y'all this could have been your twin flame what's twin flame about oh yeah <clears throat> for some of you guys you guys could have um, been connected to your twin flame this person is crushed they're broken they're upset at this time they feel alone they're deep in their emotions. You could have disconnected from this person. Yeah, somebody here does not want there to be a pause anymore. They want things to continue moving forward. You guys could have, like, stopped something. They're pretend. This person is pretending, okay, to live right or to live good or to be happy. They are living beyond their means. This person is really broke, and they're really in the devil energy. Oh, with grip. Somebody is very much stuck in their low vibrational energy. Okay, a mindset, and it's like you could be getting signs and synchronicities, or this person's getting signs and synchronicities about you because it's like they're getting warning signs to not fuck with you. What song am I hearing? Come with me. <laughs> Come with me. I'm too happy now. Come with me to that part. Hail oh, Mary. Come with me. Yo, somebody could be a black man. I <laughs> listen. Somebody thinks that they could play with you, and it's like your ancestors are like, "Don't do it, don't do it." They 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 sending warning signs. 
somebody here's in devil energy y'all so if this person tries to connect with you with the anchors they want to chain you okay this could be spiritually trying to have some type of grip or control over you again because you're bringing happiness ten of cups you're embodying happiness and i think in the last reading y'all were embodying unconditional love a very strong powerful energy it's like y'all very connected to up above so it's like love is around you people don't like that or somebody doesn't like that and they, they want to control it they want to control your energy yeah you guys could be there go the gemini y'all y'all could be dealing with an air sign it's a king of swords individual around y'all this is not an air sign this is just someone that's very in there like dominating like cold type of energy they don't want you to know what they're thinking they don't want you to know what they're feeling they, they're just cold this could even be y'all but i don't pick up on y'all i pick up on somebody that's like in y'all energy that's like this yeah, there was, mm -hmm. you saw that three of swords, the way it came out. There was a breakup here. Somebody is heartbroken and they are watching you from a distance. They're also talking about you. Page of swords, a lot of information. That's why I keep saying out of all the readings, now I'm trying to see these little fruit flies. It's crazy. Okay? It's very odd. Someone here is trying to gather insight on you. They want to know. And it's a very, it's like a nuisance energy. This could be a very annoying energy. It could be very persistent. Okay, it's like somebody here broke your hearts. They lied to you. They betrayed you. It definitely could have been a third-party situation. I saw that. Look at this. Three of swords, three people. Something wasn't right. Now this person's watching to see if you're heartbroken. You ain't heartbroken. Yeah, you got love. <laughs> got love on the break. You, <laughs> you ain't heartbroken. It's going to be out. What was somebody doing? <laughs> Woo, this person's hurting though. <laughs> Whatever they saw is, has them hurting because you are focusing on self love. Ace of Cups is all about loving yourself, adorning yourself. You got Father God pouring into your cup. It's like you're you're getting filled up from Father God. You could have met somebody new with the Ace of Cups and they loving you down with the Ace of Cups. They love you. Okay, if this if you haven't met somebody yet, it's on the way. Ace of Cups is somebody new, new love, new love, new offers coming in it's new suitors that want to pursue you with the knight of cups that want to give you their cup okay somebody here wants to come in the three of swords yeah and it's a burden to somebody from the past somebody is stressed about it and they are pissed they go back freaking knight of swords energy again somebody is like ooh, they ready to cuss you out hurt somebody here is very militant or very abusive or harsh with their words one two three four hours i was saying this they're very cold or dis or like they even could be the type that likes to disengage people with the way that with things that they say. This person wants to come rushing in to cause some type of havoc. They want to communicate in a very abrupt way to you because they want their. It's like somebody here wants you to hear them out, okay? But they don't know how to give you that emotional side. They're they're not they're not open right now to that. While you're loving on yourself with HCAP, somebody is burdened. They put you through the ringer with the Ten of Wands. It brought you to your breaking point at one point. This is somebody that's going through their breaking point because it's like you went through a renewal. The judgment card. There was a renewal here. Something new has came in. Okay, you have you have learned from the past. You heard the call of God. Somebody could be even wanting to call you, letting you know that they're brokenhearted. Okay, they could have seen you feeling like, yeah, it's like somebody here feels like you manifesting. You're manifesting or this person is manifesting you. Who is this king? Tell me about this person. Spirit, we got to know about this. Yeah, this person wants to offer you something big because you're sexy. <laughs> Man, the female, you sexy, you attractive. Ooh, you looking good. And you can vibe any which way. You can fight or you can also love. It's like however you want to go. Y'all got this energy before however you want to go. You could be dealing with a, a fire sign. You got fire in birth chart. What if, what's going on with this king of swords? Somebody here could be a lawyer or a doctor. They're just very militant. They're very harsh, male or female. They don't like to communicate that. They, they don't want to feel like you have control over their emotions, but they really sick over you. They really sick over you. This person got, got drama and they like, this person is watching from afar. They taking their time. They don't know what to say, what to do. Okay, they want to talk to you. They admiring you. They want to apologize. They want to let you know they got some type of feelings for you. Okay, it's so small. This person is so scared. They so intimidated. They's coming out of the page. Not, look at this. All the pages. This is someone that is so immature. That's why you have to let this person go. They don't know how to communicate their feelings or emotions to you. Someone here is like, they could be very intelligent. The King of Swords is someone that is very intelligent. 
like a G and I said this, I said, y'all are very intelligent. I said this in the beginning with the temperance. Y'all give me that brainiac, very beautiful, but it's like beauty and brains. Y'all got it both. Okay. With the, and it's like Empress energy. Didn't I say this in the beginning, right? Is it kind of creeped me out a little bit because y'all popped out too. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show y'all, but it's, I'm going to show y'all. I want you to see that this person's immature. They're gathering information from a father, talking about you. They want to come in with a little offer because they know who you are, male or female empress. They know who you are. You the empress, okay? Somebody is a king of swords, knight of pentacles, page of cups, page of swords, page of pentacles. They can take their pages on and go page somewhere else. Go, go hit the page button somewhere else. Really come in and give you some type of childlike offer. Literally, pages is the child, children of the deck, okay? The knights is the teenagers. So you're dealing with somebody that could be like, literally, they could be divorced. They could be married with the king of swords. But at the end of the day, with the page of cups and the page of swords and the page of pentacles are coming in with nothing but childish intention. Childlike communication, a childish offer, a very small gesture with the page of cups, something that you're, you're not going to want to invest into. Mm -mm. No. And this person looks at you as a, a wife or a husband, male or female. You have it all put together. Okay. You take care of yourself. You're strong. You're striking. Your money is right. You could be a business owner or you're just a boss in your career and your own right. You got it going on, Empress or Emperor. Male or female, you are divine, okay? You have that divine light. You could be fertile. You could be getting ready to get pregnant or you just giving off that energy like you bowed it. God's light is over you. God is within you. God is shining over you. And somebody knows this. They want to talk to you. They want to come in with an apology. They can even be coming in with a little gift, like, like a, a little gift or gesture to you. But this is someone that is very slow. The Knight of Pentacles is like they're not gonna take action quickly. This is not this is someone that's a thinker. The King of Swords like to stay in their head and they like to watch from afar, but they don't like to take action to do anything. They're scared. Somebody is stuck in their thoughts. It could also be a lot of drama or discord. They may realize this. If they come towards you, it's gonna bring some type of drama, discord, or havoc. Yeah, I cannot make it up. Yeah. Scorpio, keep moving forward. I, like, please, I I feel like you already told this person you don't even know what they're saying. Like, I feel, I pick up on the energy of like, you guys are someone. All they have is the words. Someone is has the gift of gab, but they are they don't they don't meet your energy anywhere else. They may be able to hold a very like in-depth conversation with you, make you feel like, you know, they are very stimulating mentally, but that's about it. They're not going to be able to love you with the page of cups. They're not, they don't have the emotional capacity as you with the page of pentacles. This is someone that doesn't know how to commit, not even to themselves. Okay. With the page of pentacles that they're starting fresh from different things, or they're a novice, or they just, they just don't know how. Oh man, with the Ten of Pentacles being here, it's like you are coming into wealth, Scorpio. If you haven't hit like wealth, touched wealth, it's coming. It's in your birthright. The Six of Wands is you having that recognition, blessings, rewards, accolades, everything you want, plus more. Okay, with the star, this is you coming into stardom. Y'all got this in my horoscope today. Wow, y'all are very spiritually gifted and inclined. Father God is touching you. You shine bright. Something that you do, you shine brighter than everyone around you. You're very authentic. You're very real. You're very beautiful. You're very handsome. It's like you communicate. You pray. You get on your hands and knees. Too. You give back to people around you. You give back to nature. You give back to earth. I see it with the Ten of Pentacles. You're coming into wealth. You're not going to ever have to worry about a dollar again, ever. Food, resources, nothing. Everything's going to be handed to you. Okay, it's like you have that, you have that, what is it called? The soft life, wealthy life, luxurious life, abundant life. You got it. You already manifested it. It's yours. It's yours, Empress. I hope this helped you. I am sending you an abundance of peace, love, and life. Always, Scorpio. And I'll be seeing you on the next video.